Today I'm gonna show you how you can create your own command line tools using Python. And for that you can utilize 7 libraries which will make your tools look professional with less code. While showing you libraries, I will show you how you can use them by building my own weather tool. When running my CLI tool, I want user to provide city and country name. We can do so by using library called Typer which will help us to collect the inputs we need. Cool thing about Typer is that it will show errors when starting the script if there are some missing parameters. In addition to getting city and country names before starting the script, we can use Typer prompts to get user inputs interactively. Now that we collected city and country name, we can ask user in which unit they want to see the results. Since we want to give limited amount of choices, we can use library called inquirer. It allows us to get interactive user inputs while running the script. Now we can take user choice and use it in our request. Besides multi-selection, inquirer allows us to create question prompts like typer, but it has additional functionalities like rejects input validation. Now that we have all required parameters from the user input, it's time to fetch the data we need. Since we use OpenWeatherMap API, it will take some time to fetch data. While waiting for the result of the request, we can use library called Yasbin to show nice progress indicator. In addition to show spinner like this one, we can also use function decorators in Yasbin. Now we have the weather forecast data, we can display the today's temperature in ASCII art. To print the result as ASCII art, we can use library called PyFiglet. By importing the figlet and selecting font, we can show our result with print statement. Now our command line tool looks great, but there's one more thing. What if the user wants to see weekly weather forecast too? We already have function to fetch the data, so only thing we need is to display the data. ASCII art is not good option for this type of data in my opinion, so we can show it as a table instead. Although there are different libraries for printing the data as a table, Tabulate seems to be the most flexible one with more options. Now let's print the weekly forecast data in table. Hopefully this gives you an idea how you can create your own command line tools using Python and automate your workflow. You can find the link to the GitHub repository in the description.